push-ups, sit-ups, forward plank, side plank. We have learned two self-defense techniques. The snap kick to the groin, followed by the hammer fist to the shoulders. Now, our next technique will be a replacement for the hammer fist. So instead of the hammer fist, now we're gonna use our elbow. The point of our elbow to strike the person across the shoulder lines, the base of the neck, whichever of the target uh, is, is most available to you. So again, I'm going to do the whole technique by replacing the hammer fist with my elbows. So, once again, we were standing in the neutral position, 50-50 weight, higher recommended for uh, street situations when you're on the street, just waiting for someone, waiting for the bus, try to keep your balance, 50-50 weight, just in case something happens. Now, again, someone came up and you're standing a couple feet away, so there's a bit of a distance between you and they were acting in a way that seemed violent or aggressive, something potentially dangerous. So automatically, again, your hands go up to protect yourself. This is your box. Nothing gets through this box here. This is your protection zone. Forehead to your hips. Now, the person was acting strangely. You put your hands up to protect yourself. You try to de-escalate the situation by talking them down or just trying to walk away, but perhaps you couldn't. Maybe your back was to the wall, you're trapped somehow. The person reaches out to grab you or otherwise attempts to do something where they're making contact to your person. Now you have the right to self-defense. You will kick whichever foot is the foot of your same right hand, your power side, we call it. So I am right-handed, I am going to kick with my right foot. Again, the forward front snap kick to the groin. You will lift your knee up in the air and snap the foot out, pointing the toes outward, so you kick again with the top of your foot. So, the person attempted to grab me, I lift my foot up, kick them to the groin. Notice my toes pointed out, so I hit with the top of my foot. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down down. That is the kick. After the kick, last week we did the hammer fist. This time we replaced with the elbows. So the person attempted to grab me. There was enough space to kick them. The groin area was open. I lifted my right foot up and kicked them. Put my foot down. Then I stepped forward with my right, I'm sorry, my left foot to close the distance and to keep my balance nice and tight so I can wind up with my right arm and strike with that elbow, dropping my whole body onto them, using my core, using my weight, using gravity, dropping your whole weight down, striking with that elbow, again, along the shoulder line, base of the neck, whichever target is closest and most available to you. Once more, kick, Put my foot down, step forward with my left foot, big wind up, drop that elbow down. Step back, hopefully at this point, they are down on the ground, you can run. Go get help. Extract yourself from the situation. Again, this is self-defense, not fighting. The goal here is to run away. Once more, kick, strike, out. Run. Got it? All right. Good luck. Oops.